Hey there, thanks for watching another screencasting video tutorial. This time around we go Android on you as we take a look at the multi-window abilities of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Now the first thing is to make sure that you actually have this feature enabled. I'm going to go into my settings here with the gear icon and scroll down to device where I find multi-window. At the top right, I'll turn the feature on and I'll also enable both flavors of multi-windowing, split screen and pop-up view shortcut. The phone then pops out the multi-window mode tray on the right side. Before we continue, it's important to know that not all apps support multi-windowing. Quite a few do these days, but there are still quite a few as well that simply don't support it. Okay, so I'm back to my home screen, and the first thing I want to do is press and hold the back button so I can once again open up that multi-window mode tray on the right side. This tray shows you all the programs that support and can be used in multi-window mode. Actually, that's not completely true. You can customize which apps appear here, but again, the key point is whatever appears here must be an app that does support multi-window mode. Next, touch and hold one of the app icons in the tray. I'll use the calendar and then drag it over to the middle of the screen. It immediately opens up in full screen mode so it doesn't appear that anything's changed, but it has. If I go back to the multi-window mode tray, touch, hold, and drag another app to the screen. For this example, I'll choose the My Files app. Watch what happens. Both the apps are now open and active in what's called split screen mode. If I had the phone in landscape mode right now, they'd be side by side rather than stacked one on the other. Now I'm going to touch and drag from the upper right corner of the calendar app. My files has now gone full screen while the calendar is now truly in its own window. This is the pop out window view. If I click and hold the dot at the top center of that window, I can drag and drop it anywhere on the screen. If I touch and release that same dot, I get a menu that allows me to copy and paste from this app to any other app on the screen that supports it, of course, minimize the app to an icon, expand the app to full screen, or close it completely. Let's have a look at minimizing the calendar to an icon. Let's drag another app onto the screen from the multi-window tray and notice its default behavior is to appear split screen with my files again reduced to split screen as well. All the while, our calendar is still there as an icon ready for action on a moment's notice. Now I'll touch and drag from the upper left corner of the My Files app and make it a window. Google Play Music goes full screen and there sits our calendar still ready for action. Now let's minimize My Files to an icon and close Google Play Music. I'm back to my desktop, but both minimized apps are still running right where we left them and even if I scroll to another page, there they are. I can click and drag them and simply touch them to open them back up in their own window. All right, so the last thing we want to do is shut them both down, and let's take a look at customizing the apps that actually appear on the multi-window mode tray. Click and hold the back key to bring it back up, and touch the arrow icon at the very bottom of the tray, where I'll touch Edit. All the apps that support the feature appear here. They're either on the left to be added to the tray, or actually on the tray where they can stay or they can be dragged and dropped to a virtual holding tank if you ever wish to put them back on the tray. Just drag and drop to or from the tray to add or remove apps from it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave us your comments or suggestions. You can also email us at screencastic at gmail.com.